all right this is a uh, this video will be on my new uh, ram pump and if you're not familiar with a, a ram pump uh, they're designed to pump water uh, fairly decent distance with a fairly decent head uh, but no external power source basically just the flow the gravity of water is what powers it so you know it's made from just commonly uh, available pipe fittings uh, ram pumps only have two moving parts one right here and one right here what these are are brass swing check valves and I have one here I can kind of show you it has a little flapper in there so basically it's just a one-way valve so on this outside you have it so that the uh, the valve hangs open and the water pressure actually has to lift up and close the valve like that and on this other side it's the exact opposite so that the water pressure opens it up but it can't come back and what happens is um, you know you set this up in a, a creek or a stream or you know uh, a pond that has access to like a hillside or something like that they won't work in wells uh, but pretty much every other water source if you, if you can get the water moving it'll work um, this is my drive pipe here and this is PVC one inch and it's just just for the test uh, drive pipes are best if made out of steel but for testing purposes this PVC will work and it runs right up here to my porch to a uh, four gallon bucket with a whole bunch of silicone gobbed on it and basically this is just my water source my temporary water source to test this thing and I have a garden hose here that I just pour water into it so the water comes flowing down this one inch pipe and because it has some weight behind it some gravity behind it it has some force it continues through this pipe and it'll flow out this valve until the flow rate reaches a point where the little flapper can no longer hold it back and it slams shut and that creates what's known as a water hammer effect the water has nowhere to go but up through this check valve and this is a a two inch by 30 inch piece of PVC it has a cap welded or it's welded I'm used to fabricating cap glued on the top and 15 inches of this basically half the distance is filled with closed cell for, uh, foam or more commonly known as a water weenie basically and what this acts like is a, a a bladder closed cell form so every time this thing pumps it'll compress this and rebound and compress and rebound um, this is the simplest way I found to build them other people use bicycle inner tubes and things like that but anyhow so anyhow the water slams this shut it's forced up into here and it compresses the air that's in this tube to a point where the air wants to spring back because it, it's been compressed from that water hammer effect so it tries to spring back and push the water the problem is it can't go backwards through this check valve so its only way out is through this T and out my hose here and basically uh, I've got this hose that runs up the side of my house and we'll try to get uh, out of the sunlight up to the top of a six foot ladder sitting on the edge of my uh, roof here and that's probably about 15 foot ahead um, with basically four foot of fall uh, from my my source bucket up here so this thing uh, it's pretty neat I uh, will go ahead and get it fired up for you basically we'll come over here and turn on my man-made spring here and that starts filling my bucket so we'll come over here okay so I just drop that in there start filling the bucket oh the pumps already started clicking I can hear it so basically that's what happens the water's flowing it slams that little check closed and we're building up pressure although I think my gauge is bad because I'm not reading any pressure but the pump certainly works so basically gravity is forcing this pump to operate now we'll crack this valve here and you'll hear you'll hear the second valve start clicking oh she stopped we got too greedy just give her a poke I gotta go slow down my man-made stream here. Oh, 
Okay, so pump's going. Sorry about that. We'll start cracking this valve open. And before too long, there we go, I just heard it. We're pumping water. Although you can't see it falling right now. Let's get in a spot where you can see. There we go. I'll try to get up there. Boy, it's really hard to see. I'll try to get some blue sky behind it. That is hard to see. Anyhow, that's the water we're getting pumped out of it. It's about, uh, oh, 10% or so of the water that's going through the pump actually gets pumped to where you're going. And while this may not look like a very large amount of water, you gotta remember that this thing runs 24 hours a day, seven days a week, nonstop. Um, that small amount of water, although I haven't done a test on it as of yet, you know, that's probably I don't know, half a gallon a minute or so, you know, times that by 24 hours, that's a pretty substantial amount of water um, for uh, relatively uh, no cost, I mean, with the exception of buying the fittings. So we'll come back over here. And I just love that it works completely off-grid, you know, just off the water hammer effect. And something's definitely wrong with my pressure gauge because normally it's about 20 psi or so but that's no biggie and you can see the whole setup shaking because of the water hammer so there it is little weekend project i was working on please rate and comment